Good Friday afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. First at four, I'm Christy Casciano. Happening now, coronavirus testing continues in Onondaga County with a focus on getting teachers and now students headed back to school. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live at NBT Bank Stadium where it all took place. Andrew, was it a busy day there? Christy, it sure was, and because the baseball season was canceled, this may have been the busiest day at NBT Bank Stadium all year long. I just checked with the organizers. More than 360 people have shown up today for testing before they go back to school, and this last hour now seems to be pretty busy. Every station is full right now. People are welcome to come through the next hour. The doors close at 5 o'clock. That goes for anyone in an Onondaga County school, a teacher, a staff member, even a student. Anyone is eligible to be tested all the time at the Syracuse Community Health Center, but for back to school testing, this was the first chance for students to come with their parents. I spoke with a mother who brought all three of her children before they go back to their classrooms in the Liverpool School District next week. A friend of my father just passed from COVID, so it's close to home. You know it's real. It's real. It's not fake. It's it's nothing to mess with, and it's it's scary like bringing your kids into that environment, which is why I wanted them tested first. There's under an hour left, 58 minutes of testing before the doors close. People were asked to pre-register, but the organizers are also accepting walk-ins. So head over here in the next 57 or so minutes and you can get your test before going back to school. Live at NBT Bank Stadium, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. All right.